Someone recently asked me who makes me laugh, and the person who makes me laugh more than anyone else in the world is me. But <laughs> another person that always tickles my funny bone is Melissa McCarthy. And here are a couple of my favorite moments with her. I, I understand we both enjoy moving a lot. Yes, to my my poor poor husband uh, does not enjoy it the same way I do. But oh, yeah, that's a shame. I can't. I could never even think about like a house that's fully done. Wow, I really so, do. I want to like and redo it. Do you everything. enjoy the construction part of it or the designing inside part? Yes. Mm hmm <laughs> All of it. Yeah, it never it never ends. Mm -hmm. And I have we're we're putting up a fence in front. And which I have, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep the same guys that are always helping me and doing a great job because I've. Why is that? I did, well, I did a little something that's a bit odd. I was coming down, it has to start with Spanx, so I apologize. Okay, I'll just start at the beginning. I was told to bring in these Spanx. We all, a lot of us wear them occasionally for something. <laughs> And um, I kept for, told to bring them in to work. To work. Well, there's a certain kind that I liked. Okay. And they kept saying, "Just tell me this. I need the style number. Will you bring them in?" Okay. And then like two weeks go by, and I keep forgetting, and I feel like a dingbat. So I'm in my room getting ready for work, and I see them, and I was like, "Just put them on. Clearly, you can't take them and put them in your purse. So your punishment is just just put them on and wear them into work." So I get ready, and I always leave for work kind of like a sherpa. I have like a bag of this, a bag of things I think I'm gonna get done, which don't, I just carry it back and forth from work <laughs> from work to home. So I have like three bags, three bags, I have a messenger bag across me, and I'm coming downstairs and the guys are up front building the fence, and it's kind of sprinkling out, so I was shocked to see them, it was so nice. And I'm coming down the stairs and I was like, which bag is pulling somewhere, like it's pulling a sweater, and I'm like, I, I, I can't even look to see what's pulling me because I've got too many bags. And so I come down the stairs and I see the guys. I'm like, hey, good morning, guys. And they're just like. <laughs> and I think they're acting weird. And I was like, God, do they think I've made them be here on a rainy day? I'm thinking it's about the rain. And then I'm standing there and I have all these bags. So I'm kind of shifting back and forth and I'm chatting. And I'm like, the fence is looking great. It's really. And they're only looking like top of hair and up. <laughs> And it's really odd, because they're only doing this, and now I'm looking at my roof, because I think, like, what's up there? Like, is there some, is there like a cat on the roof? And so I'm lingering, I'm now turning around fully. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I think, uh, I'm standing there, and I go to rearrange a bag, and I look down. My sweater is now up around here. <laughs> Nothing but flesh-colored Spanx. <laughs> Where are your pants? I see, oh, I'm, I'll get there. <laughs> Flesh-colored Spanx, I see bare kneecaps. <laughs> and then my pants are somewhere like low calf. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, it was horrifying. <laughs> and these poor guys were like. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm seeing, I've been like shifting back and forth. I'm like, you know what I mean? And I'm turning around like, as if this wasn't enough, I was like, you better check this out. Last time Melissa was here, I said that I wanted to be in the sequel to Bridesmaids, so I wrote up a little scene, and we're gonna perform it for you right now. By the way, Melissa's not seen any of it, but I think she's gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Hurry, Megan, we have to get to your wedding so that you can marry the air marshal that you met on the plane in that first movie. I know Janet, my long-lost sister. I'm so happy we found each other. I knew you had to be my sister the second I accidentally hit you with my car. Enough about that. We need to get to my wedding and fast. Hey, watch out for that low brain, that glass. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy for you. Your wedding is going to be so beautiful, and nothing's going to stop us from getting there. Not even a giant pile of leaves. <laughs> Not even that. Oh my God. Ooh, what are those? <laughs> oh, don't worry, it's good luck to get attacked by bats on your way to the wedding. It's totally fine. Mother of Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> Relax, they're gone. Branch. <laughs> oh my god. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> That's right, we're heading straight towards the finish line of a marathon. That's all right, it's good luck. You feel a storm coming on? No, but I'm sure it looks foggy over there on your side of the street. <laughs> well, well, this is yeah. so weird. <laughs> Why is there a perfume tester out here? That's weird to have a perfume tester out here. Oh, what's even weirder? She's she's coming back by you. No, she's coming back no. by you. No, she's not.